Right, hello everyone, and welcome back to A Case of Quad. So, last time, I kind of had a bit of a problem, in that I changed computers, so I don't have the save file anymore. Oops. <laughs> um... Wop, wop. So, yeah, we're gonna have to try over again. I think I have builds in my library, right? No, I don't. Okay. Hmm, that's not good. We're gonna start on a new one, huh? Wait, what? Cyber Ape. Are these new? Ape? Cyber Ape? Baboon? Cyber Baboon? Did I, I must have installed a monkey uh, <laughs> mod or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's just go ahead and do with a regular mutated human, huh? Strength. And I believe we're going for plants and friendship, right? Mostly for, I know friendship. I want to make friends. Like, I want to cover this world and make friends with everyone. So we're going to try and make friends that way. And to do that, we're gonna become a uh, no uh, scholar. They're tinkering, customs, folklore, tactics. No, they don't have friendship. Watervine farmer, pilgrim. My brain isn't smoothened. Who has the ability to proselytize? It's the scholar, right? Or is it no? Who proselytize? Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> who can proselytize. Are they not here? Water merchant, water vine farmer. Wait, that's weird. Shouldn't they have a, like, priest or some kind that can proselytize people? Cudgel, pistol akimbo, butchery, lasting way, weathered, harvestry, salt dunes, scholar. Customs and folklore, but does not have proselytization. Weird. Do the scholar always have tinkering? Huh. Yeah, none of the starting classes have consultation anymore. I can't make friends with anyone by default. So... Huh. <laughs> what should we do then? Well, good old gunslinger is never a problem, right? And here we have a bunch of mutations. I'm not sure if they add anything new. Though I do like how they have the little symbols now. Uh, of course, we gotta go with Unstable Genome because that's hilarious. Get ourselves an escape route, which is gonna be Freezing Ray. Really strong and really, really useful. Then I'm gonna take... I can't take Beguiling, darn. We can take Burgeoning. <laughs> uh, turn off Freezing Ray. You know what? Let's turn off Freezing Ray. Take Beguiling and burgeoning and now we're gonna be some sort of plant dude it's gonna be great or not huh I'll, I'll just stick beguiling and freezing ray or flaming ray flaming ray is pretty good but it's it's, it's kind of dangerous because you can set fire and everything around you will catch fire and uh, that's bad <laughs> You put another thing into unstable genome, that'd be pretty funny. Oh, two, and night vision. Yeah, why not? Perfect. With that, I think we're good to keep going. Clearly, we need to have a higher ego to make, you know, enslave more, I mean, make friends with more people. And agility is good for, like, shooting things. Otherwise, strength, intelligence. We're going to be dumb as a rock, so let's just... Leave intelligence alone. Get some more toughness, strength. You know, being able to carry more stuff is kind of important. That's good. Toughness. Willpower is good to get, cover our casting magic abilities more often. Agility. Yeah. Ego. I'm fine with being dumb as a post. We can just learn skills through faction trading. That'll be fine. Strong. There we go. Yeah, be the Texas Ranger with a big iron on his hip, but the horse is smarter than you. <laughs> ah, we're fine. Also, no pet. Oh, we can take a pet? Basil the Friendly Basilisk. Oh, interesting. Oh, friend. Okay, I think that's actually a mod character. I don't want to bring any mod characters oh, in. Oh, yeah. I can't hide this, so gamer ASMR. Ah, uh, okay. Wonderful. 
Now you're starting your playthrough strong. I don't know <laughs> how to... I don't remember the codes. There's a way to put in, like, colors. I think it's, like, the and symbol, G, or any, any uh, corresponding letter. I think G is for green, by the way. And... Uh, origami and Y. Enter. There, right, see, it turned green. Great. With that, we're good. I'm gonna start in Joppa because it's the easiest place to start with, and because I'm feeling a little, you know, I want to have a nice home base to work with. Okay, what do we got? Equipment. Remove the torch, because we really don't need it. You got two chrome revolvers. Nice. Hello, my friend. I'm in search of work. Uh, yes, I'll do as your task. And then I'll talk to you. You intrigue me. I'll make a journey to the great Shekinah. In the meantime, go ahead and look, too. All right, there you go. Hated by reptiles and birds. Great. I'm not making friends with him anytime soon. Disliked by trolls. Hated by Sviardium. There that is. And the Elder. So, no one really likes anyone here. That's okay. Well, then it's probably fine if I just steal from them. Because, you know, no one will even care, right? Yes, I'll steal all of these things. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, unfortunately for us, we're about as smart as a, as a brick. So, we can't really identify artifacts very well. So, we're just going to steal all this junk and hope we can figure out what it is. It's a fungicide grenade. Actually, great. I'll hold on to that if I can. A thermal grenade. And... Freeze grenade. Hey! Jewel encrusted occasions. So, not super valuable, but they're useful. And selling... Well, occasions, but they're not very valuable in period. And a five times multiplier is not going to help that much very much. Because, you know, the base value is so low that multiplying by five doesn't do a whole lot. Electrified iron mace. So... Take the cell, examine the cell. It's a chem cell. Well, ain't that spiffy. Let's see here. Chef, that's the same one as it always is. It's always the same one over here for Chef. It's going to go ahead and talk to this guy. I remember back in the olden days, long, long time ago, we could actually get stuff. Random stuff there, actually, instead of being... Rochef every time. We're going to sell one freeze grenade because I'm not going to use it. Sell all of my torches because I don't need any of these. And... Electrified mace, iron mace. We don't need any of this junk. We've got guns, baby. I'm not going to be able to use these or anything, so let's go ahead and sell those too. Fall into the meadow is pretty nice, but I can't afford that anytime soon. Toolkits are useless. So we're going to buy a silver nugget. Water skins are nice too, but I'm not going to bother. Yeah. All right, let's go see what our friend Mehmet or whatever his name is over here. Argive? Argive! Yeah, Argive. Hello, I would like to do a quest. Ah, oh, fetch you a knickknack. Well, here is a knickknack. It's a thermal grenade. Ooh. And you want another big knickknack? Well, guess what, my friend? It's a freeze grenade. Wow. I'm already level two. All right, I'll accept the quest. We can now go get some wire. Mm. So we have beguiling, and we have nothing else. Is that what, what I have? I already forgot what I did. <laughs> I have night vision and beguiling too. Okay, that that's not good. But you know what? That's fine. I can't even upgrade anything. I just got to buy a random mutation next time. All right, I'll take it. My skill points are 50, so we are just dumber than a bag of hammers. Oh, well. I really want to get customs and folklore so we can get, uh, tactful. Uh, fortunately, that's not going to happen anytime soon, is it? Whoops. Sharer, you're skilled in the arts of the wandering storytellers, and singers called sharers. By sharing secrets and gossip in the water ritual. Oh, this is, that's new. That's not, that wasn't there before. Well, I'm too dumb to get this one. I don't have a high enough intelligence. Uh-oh. <laughs> My bill has already crippled itself. Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. We still have bullets. 
and that can solve a lot of our problems for us. I've yet to meet men who outsmart bullets. And in the meantime, we're also over here. <laughs> Let's shoot, huh? So, Sushas the Fourth, the Chanteru Charteru's Char Charteru Charteru Charteru's boot. The Charteru's boot, okay. Uh, chartreuse. Chartreuse. That's a weird word. It's not in English by default. Yeah, while traveling through Ugakish, Sushesh, Sushesh, Sus, Susesh, uh, stopped at the market in Susagard, Susagrad. At an obscure shop, he purchased a mighty bracelet and called it Mydika Susafriend. Then he went to a nearby tavern and lost Mydika Susafriend in a game of dice. He cursed the tavern, less Susagard. Ugh. So now I have some quests, huh? Let's see if we can find out where this quest is. It's pretty far north, huh? Well, we're not gonna go there just yet. We're gonna head down to the rest wells and try and find some, well, wire. Should hopefully not be too bad at the time. Water pads. It does feel weird that I'm not friends with plants anymore. Then again, I don't think I was really that great a friend with them anyway. Uh, so I, I now have a crocodile friend. Hooray! The croc here is just kind of a meat shield. Crocs aren't really that tough for an odd reason. You, you think they would be really strong considering how powerful they are, animals in the real world, but in this game, they're not really that tough. Whee! Stairs, huh? Well, nothing ledger, nothing gained. Let's go down! Uh, ooh, more stairs. I will... What do I... What am I seeing here? Tangled mud root. Okay. I don't want to get too far away from anywhere safe, so let's just go ahead and leave and let, let that slime deal with my friend here. You can't beguile slimes, unfortunately. They don't have much of a brain, so... Ooh, nicely done, my friend! Unfortunately, robots and slimes are too dumb to try and charm. They just kind of follow their orders or their base impulses on the case of slimes. Furrow of miniature collar. What does that mean? Is that a farm? Hey, okay. You know, if my gator friend here dies, I'll... Let's give it a name. Okay. You're no longer called Croc. We are now going to call you... Croquina. <laughs> Hope that's not a swear word in some language. It's Croquina, the female crocodile. <laughs> Sadly, Croquina here is probably going to die pretty quickly. But we have a right side for now, so that's good enough for me. Come on, Croquina, please don't eat any farmers. We're just kind of here to take a look around. And I can't go any further that way. Darn. All right, so we can't access the farm at all here. I might be able to destroy a fence or something, but I don't feel like doing that. And there's nothing there for us either. Ooh. There's got to be a way through somewhere. Ooh. Nicely done, Krakina. I guess these guys only have like three health. Steel, steel hand. Ooh, ooh, look at all that treasure. That is nice. Oh. Oh, man. I died. What happened? What? Uh, critically hits you for 19 damage with her bite. Wow, she just bit my head off. Alright. Easy come, easy go. Sheesh. Getting crit for 19 damage? Holy crap. Wow, okay. So I got I got shot for 3 damage. It's not really a big surprise. Uh, no, the crit hit for... Yeah, she just bit my head off. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> No! <laughs> Sorry, Krakina. I guess it's I who's the one who's going to die. Ah! Ah, well, crap. Well, ah. Uh, let's just do classic and do the last one again, shall we? I'd prefer not to die, but. Oh, well. Guess it's time to go. <laughs> oh, well, that was. That was something. Okay, well, re-roll. Hopefully a better luck this time. Or worse luck, you'll see. <laughs> that was fast. Uh, dislike with the villagers of Harkash, so that's fine. Um, 
disliked by the villa the Nefali tribe and hated by insects. Uh, I'm in search of work. I'm, I'm in search of work. I'll take your quest. You, I want to go to Shekinah. I really do want to go to Shekinah, but crossing the desert is a massive pain. And whoo whoo, baby, they're tough. Admired by the Fellowship of Wardens and admired by Uzes. Ooh, Elder Adrudadrad here is pretty great. Okay, so we could make friends with him right now. But it's actually much better to come back here and learn harvesting from him after we complete the quest for the spider, whatchamacallit, the pig spider dudes, you know? It's kind of a ways out, but it's a good goal to have. And hopefully this time we don't die before that happens. <laughs> to random snap jaws. So getting crit for an absolute ton of damage, uh, that happens, I guess. Still dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> well, that's okay. Hulk honey, huh? And the shade oil. Okay. Let's look at Rashef. Need to get the Rashef secret, even though it's the same every single time we're here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Over right here, buy all the bullets I can. Sell the torches I don't need. I can probably take the one off my back, too. I'm currently carrying one as well. That metal sheets. Hmm. This time I'm probably going to just buy some water skins, because we could probably use them. As well as get rid of the staff. I don't need this. A few extra water skins never hurt. The reason why I want to take off torches is because torches weigh one pound each, and that's insanely heavy. In the meantime, here you can have this torch and I'll buy some shotgun shells. I'm not going to probably use these, but you know, maybe I will. And some arrows, I guess. Offer. Bam. Okay, now I'll go to our guy and see what he's got for me. Hopefully some easy peasy quests. There we go. Why, yes, our guy. Here's a Hulk honey injector. And a shade oil injector. Look at that. All right. Let's see. What do you have to trade? Sometimes our guy has really powerful equipment, but it's like this time he just has weird stuff. Nothing useful to us. No free evolution. That's fine. And I guess we're just good to go. Funnily enough, we can't actually use any of our skills right now because... We don't have any... We don't have anything. <laughs> Good. Let's see here. Uh, Zerolesh, the Citrine Battery. While traveling the Lake Providence... Uh, while traveling through Lake Providence Depier, Zerolesh, the fourth, stopped at a tavern in Alaramrod Grotto. There she lost her prettish bat... Blah, 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 blah. There she lost her prized batterka in a foolhardy bet. She cursed the tavern and left Alamorad Al Grotto. Okay. So, let's see if we can find this batterka. Uh, is that where it is? The Lake of Dapir? It's like, it's not too far away. Or I'll get lost immediately. And that's fine by me, I guess. It's dark. The plants and fish are fighting. Well, it sucks to be them, I guess. So the lake here, I can't really cross it very easily. That's fine. Apparently plants and dragonflies don't like each other very much. I guess it's because dragonflies eat them? Or do they eat bugs? I actually don't know what dragonflies eat. Oh well. I'm sure it will come to me in time. Hey, finish the red vine quest, kind of. Hmm? Is that a statue? Zerilish, the Shagashan Drain. While leading a small army in the Lake Providence of Dana, Zerilsad II was assailed by a claimant over an ordinance made mandating the practice of staring at the night sky. He won and had the Esperant murdered. He was 44 years old. Ooh. Same spot, huh? Well, if you could visit Dana, then you can actually complete two quests at once. I'll take that, my friend. Hey, stairs. Well, that was easy. I'm not going to stay down there, because getting trapped down there sounds like a bad idea. But... Ah. Oh, darn. 
Because for me, I have a gun and can shoot these guys. They think they're clever. There we go. Dumb monkeys, don't you know? I have the power of the pistol. Darn it. <laughs> I missed. Unfortunately, my line of sight is also completely terrible. Oh, hey! So now I can get a stinger. I can... Create a time paradox of myself. Or I can teleport other. Actually, teleport other sounds great. I'll take that. Alright. I think teleport other is another brain power one, so we can't do anything about it. In the meantime, we can try and raise our ego one point. Yay! Maybe I should have tried to raise my intelligence. I do kind of want to learn tactics and folklore or whatever it was. Ah, it'll be fine. Let's trade. Oh. What's kind of nice about salamanders is that they're friends. <laughs> okay. Beguile! You are now my friend. Give me all your possessions. Not really. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather keep them around just to, you know, take damage for me instead of me taking the damage. Because that sounds very handy to me. Ow. Ay. Stud leather armor, axes. I'll take all this stuff. Thank you. Oh, I didn't really want the corpse, though. Am I, am I going akimbo right now? I am going akimbo. Uh, I, I want to turn that off if I can, because using two bullets is not really what I want to ha do. Hmm. A hog! Oh no. Hogs are really not what I want to see. Darn. Okay, come on, hog. Yes, yeah, so you're now my hog. <laughs> ah, squeeze my hog. Hogs are pretty great. They're very meaty. Not very... Not very smart, but holy crap, that's a lot of dudes. Holy sh holy crap. I am now leaving. There's only a few reasons why there's be so many dudes in one spot. Oh, I completely missed. Thanks, Hog. You're my friend. A wool kilt? So, there's probably a legendary guy over there, and I'm gonna not go over there until I can recover my health. I'm doing a little dance, you know? Or not, there's just a bunch of dudes, I guess. Go get him, Hog! You got this! I think it's winning. Go, my Hog! No! Oh. These Snapjaws are not playing nice. Heck! I'll just loot the crap out of these guys and go, maybe. <laughs> I didn't want that corpse. Whoops. Okay, okay. So, weird artifact. And it is a stun rod. We're going to replace the cell. And then examine the, tr the cell. It's a... Hemp cell. Nice. I mean... I will say that the hog was kind of dumb and charging into a big crowd of enemies, but what can I say? He tried his very best, and, you know, I, I'm i proud to have known you, hog. Even if I didn't give you a name yet, you did your job adequately. Maces are not worth it. They're way too... They're way too uh, heavy for what they give you. Not be good weapons, though. I never tried using a, a mace. That's because using a... Using a melee weapon is a good idea to get yourself killed. So... <laughs> let's not do that, shall we? Guess I'll take all this. Actually, I just kind of want the arrows and the occasions, I guess. Having some shoes is probably better than none, right? Ah, it doesn't do anything for us. <laughs> We're still a crack shot. 
Hey, a neck ring. Great. I mean, baboons will leave us alone if get two. For some reason, the neck ring you can wear on your arms, I think. So, I don't know. Apparently, it's not considered a sin, even though it's clearly not how you're supposed to wear a neck ring. But whatever, whatever, it's fine. Meantime, I want to recruit that war leader if I can. Whoops. Darn. Hey! Now ah, we're friends. Good. Go murder your old compatriots, would you? Thanks. And because he's our friend, we can now equip him with stuff. Whew. I'm so glad we have her. She's wearing painted studded leather armor, a bite, and a steel kukri. Ooh. Okay. Let's give her a name, shall we? Let's see here. Enter a name for the Snapchat Warlord. The Snapchat Warlord is going to be... Gurla. Gurla! <laughs> Alright, Gurla, let's go kick some butt. Alright, always name your companion so that way you feel more attached to them. That way you don't, you'll cry when they die and not just like and shrug your shoulders and say, eh, whatever. Sorry, hog. <laughs> oh, hungry. Make a campfire to cook. Make a campfire to cook. Wait, do I have tutorials on? No, I don't. Do I? Uh, options. How do I turn off tutorials? Tutorials. Where are you? HP 1 threshold actually should be way higher. There you go, 60%. That way I know when I'm in trouble. 40% is actually too low. You want to be winners. Not losers, you know? It sounds like 40% 40, like 40 is uh, a defined number, but it's actually really, really not. So you saw how we just got destroyed last time in like one or two hits. When you're below half health, it's time to get going. <laughs> So I usually want to know before you get to that point. Because the way how armor works is that usually you're either not getting hit, or that... What is, is that a leech? What is that? Puddle of dilute salt. What? Oh, it's a snapshot warrior. Okay. What? What's going on here? What is all this? All right. There we go, my friend. You've done it. You killed them. You and your leather whip, apparently. Ooh, an engraved stun rod. Now we're talking. Take the cell. We're going to get it. And then we're going to look at our engraved stun rod. Because, after all, who knows what story's going to be on it. Look. Let's see here. This item is engraved. The scene for the life of the ancient Sultan, Karlesh I. Throughout the entirety of 4970 BR, Zeralesh, Z Zeralesh rampaged through all the tavern providence Kirchalep, conducting midnight raids on the ritual on the villages of Sviardiam and nearly sentient beings. She became known as the Sorrows of Zeralesh. Okay. Cool lore. And good high value money. Okay. We're totally lost though. Oh, I think our dude is about to get killed, or we're about to get killed, because there's a lot of bad guys there. Oh! Quills, Temporal Fugue, or Heightened Hearing. None of these seem that useful, but I guess we'll take clones? Make Quills. Cannot wear body armor. Immune to other creatures' quills. Uh. I'm going to take Heightened Hearing. It's kind of a waste for spending three points on Heightened Hearing, but you know what? I guess I guess taking Heightened Hearing is what we're going to go for. Reload. Ah, I love bullets. So useful. Oh. <laughs> These guys have nothing on them. Examine this. Fidget cell. Okay, fidget cells are okay. They seem to be best when used on like a melee weapon, and I don't really know how to do that. Like a club. Clubs are not worth it. 
Finding for sandals. Oh, Grilla! No, what happened? You should be. Oh, that's a legendary. That's why. That's a legendary snapshot king. That's really strong. Okay. No wonder. Huh. King is about the highest tier snapshot you can get. So. Uh, we should probably try and recruit her if we can. It's kind of weird she's called a king, even though she's a, clearly a female. Oh, whatever. I guess this is probably just an ornamental title anyway. Please don't have any magic. going to shoot you, and you, and you, and we're going to wait for you to get close, and beguile. <laughs> now we have the king, Bwalabaru Homo Homo Homo. What? Bwalabaru Homo Buo Homo Homo. The callous snapjaw king. Okay. <laughs> That's a name, all right. Uh, disliked by cannibals, loved by snapjaws. So, yeah, actually worth making a water ritual with. Here you go, my friend. You lose reputation with some, like, cannibals and some vi random village. And you gain reputation with some random village. But, see, disliked is not nearly as bad as loved, as hated. So we lose 50 points with cannibals, but get 100 with snapjaws. That's fine by me. Live and drink, my friend. Let's a go! And there's a lot of garbage right here. Butcher knife. Oh, I don't think I've seen that before. Painted short bow. Mm, bronze dagger. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well equip the Caucasians. Examine this weird artifact. Freezing fire nuker. Nice. And take a look at the painted short bow. This. This item is painted from the life of the Sultan Reshef at 1 AR. Close the gates to the Tomb of the Eaters, abdicating the throne and dissolve the Sultanate in order to lift the curse of the Gyre. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure what the curse of the Gyre has to do with the Sultanate, but okay. There we go. Well, we recruited a king! Or, oh, queen, but... We recruited a king, so uh, that's a pretty good way to end our first episode, especially after dying to the first, like, couple snapshots we ran to last time. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we did well this time. We got ourselves a wonderful new companion who hopefully won't die too soon. Just have to make sure we don't try and beguile anything else when we're tagging around with our king here. In any case, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, huh? Bye-bye! <laughs>